So we're going to do the ballistics tests with this new ship and uh, we're going to do the, uh, the usual which is uh, the first fire will be a single click. So I'm going to get him to do that for us in just a second. Okay, so we've got our first hit, and the blast pattern is good, it's looking pretty deep, let's go and check it out. So, let's see, what have we got, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28. Roughly 28, because it's kind of hard to count them when they're all solid like that here. It's kind of hard. But yeah, roughly 28, and a really close grouping as well. So that's really nice. Okay, so let's just zoom out and give him a one second pulse now. Okay, so one second gets him. This is a 200 block long piece of piece of water that we use as ballistics gel in these tests. So he's nearly got 100 blocks of penetration out of that. Obviously, there's so many groups that one second of fire uh, looks like more than a second. But yeah, I'll be addressing that just to see if that really is the case in a, a later video I'm going to do on my own. Let's have a look. Okay, so now he gets to do the sustained fire test, which will be full auto to the core at this end. So we'll just position ourselves about here. Okay. Okay, so he's started making his way through. And it's going to be interesting because he's chosen a really tight pattern, so I think the penetration power on this particular weapon is going to be very good interesting to see what happens as he gets deeper in what the effect is it's almost as if you need the middle the most central guns to have the most power has he cracked it we've got lag but he's not quite finished what's going on lag had to stop uh, having to stop to let the server catch up. Obviously if he misses it's taking big chunks out which is wasting a lot of energy. I think the outer part of it is, uh, is lost. Oh no it's not quite, it's not overheated yet. He's punched through but it's not overheated. There, that's it. Surely that's it. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Right, so let's take a look at the damage from the side. So as you can see, it's a very tight tunnel he's managed to dig. <laughs> dig. Destroy. So that's a fairly nice hole in your armour there. And it's funnelling inward as it gets in. The spread gets tighter and tighter and tighter. So yeah. If you think 200 blocks of hull is going to help. It would take a while. We've seen people get through it, no problem. Let's have a look at the top view. And yeah, it's pretty much the same all the way around because if you look at the grouping on his ship, it's pretty much the same all the way around. So yeah, again, really nice design, quite powerful. I'm gonna ask him if he wants to do any bobby fights as part of the test, but yeah. Draw your own conclusions, guys. That's why we do these tests. You can look back and see the other ones where we have been doing this and compare them. 
so and it's not really so much about how many blocks you have this is more of a test of where you position them on your ship that's why we're doing this because <laughs> we haven't really said oh you've got to have a limit we just want to know what the performance of the gun is when it's fired and this gives you at least a rough idea so let's get on to the next bit why he says he's got something else to show me so I'm curious I said let's get in another uh, gel block and he said no no so let's check this out <laughs> he's built salvages into it oh has he built it like mine it doesn't look like he's leaving anything behind oh no no it's a waffle still Nice achievement though, look at that. What's the speed he's moving? So he's moving at quite a slow pace, but it's strip mining okay. Yeah! Haha, <laughs> dual roll. That's what I like to see. And yeah, you can see that uh, that removed quite a lot of blocks. <laughs> Very nice. I think he might have actually been counter placing them, but. How I'm going to say that. You can arrange a waffle and then put an, an opposite waffle on the back of it. Or, you know, a checkerboard and an inverted checkerboard. There's probably a better way of describing it than <laughs> just always calling them, waffle, calling them waffles. But yeah, nice. We'll have to incorporate some kind of salvage design, uh, test proper. Anyway. Okay, so as is a new feature, starting the Bobby fights off at level one, which is one of my first ships, the uh, Migraine Trigger version three. I think I made this in my first week playing the game. It served me well, and it served the pirates well for quite some time. So uh, we're going to use that as the first test. So if you can kill this, you can move on to the next stage. So basically I say wait for the colour to change, uh, so that, that means if you've got it <laughs> selected you probably won't know, but then again, <laughs> so start underscore ship underscore AI minus one, go, let's see, oh let's get nice and close, is it firing, yes it is firing back, oh he's got a chunk through him. I think it's dead. No, it's not dead. Oh, crumbs, it's not dead. It's still firing. These things are tough. Right, there we go. It's dead. Let's go check out the damage. So, yeah. It didn't really move enough. And as a result, it got a giant hole put straight through it. So, yeah. That wasn't too unexpected, the outcome there. Good job. Let's get on to level two. So I'm not going to lie, there is a little bit of a uh, jump in the learning curve here, but then that was the jump that I took in development. So this is the same weapon as the version 10, but with a really bad power setup <laughs> is the best way I can put it. Um, each evolution has better power and therefore is more mobile and fires more, even though they all have the same gun. So it's a good way to use it for a control test. So let's see, where's this opponent? There's the opponent. So I'm going to fly over there. Make sure I don't get aggressed. And then we will start this shindig. Okay, so they're off. Uh-oh. Whoa. <laughs> they're getting aggressive. shooting at me anymore, is it? No, it's firing at me again. <laughs> Where are you going, mate? 
Okay, so at the end of that fight, he called it off because I think the, f the shot nearly hit his core. That was a particularly angry uh, Mark A. I don't know if the AI has been improved, but uh, maybe he just got unlucky with the angles there. So yeah, his shields came down. We've got significant damage to the uh, to the hull. We've got lots of hull breaches. A lot of hull breaches. Some of it is in the unused space, though. So it's only this airlock, that room there. Oh. Actually, oh yeah, there's damage in the core room, which means it was only it was very very close. But yeah, not a combat ship. It's a it looks like an exploration ship with a good multi-role use, and you can expand it and upgrade it. So obviously, it could have had much more shields. There's lots of hollow space here. So, but yeah, it held its own for uh, for a good while. In fact, I think that. They would have lost each other, so the AI wouldn't have managed to kill him, because he would have managed to evade. Um, a player might have been able to chase him down. But yeah, that was cool. So, next episode I think we're going to be looking at something else that he's built. Maybe the ship he built after this one. Uh, thanks for bringing that along, dude. And thanks to everybody watching, and I'll see you soon.